Hiya. Hi, Jason. How are you this morning, afternoon, I'm evening? <laughs> evening. Well, I am. I'm fine. It's getting dark outside, but good morning oh. to you. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I know that you've been a part of some really big franchises like Harry Potter, Star Trek, Cars 2, and now you're in the Scooby-Doo world. What from those characters did you bring over to this world and infiltrated into Dick Dastardly? I think I was wearing the same underwear. <laughs> I've no, I no idea. I'm an actor. I try and play different parts. I try and make them all different from each other. You know what freaks me out is the word franchise. For me, franchises like burger chains or coffee shops, I'm telling stories, just telling great stories. And this Scooby Doo, it's not like, you know, there's been one every year. It's not like the Fast and the Furious. They're not adding on, uh, you know, Roman numerals and blowing up more cars. It's time to tell this great story about this family. That's what Mystery Inc. is. It's a family that falls apart. They've forgotten why they love each other. And they get reminded why they love each other. And, you know, we, a lot of us in lockdown could do with that right now. Right? This is true. This is absolutely true. So what is your favorite thing to binge right now? You know, everybody's stuck in, shut in, on lockdown and all that. What's your favorite thing that you've been binging? Well, so my children <laughs> won't watch anything that I recommend or like or I'm watching. <laughs> And if I'm going to spend any time, I've got teenage girls, 18 and 14. If I'm going to spend any time with them at all, it's got to be when they watch what they want. Uh, and so my favorite things are not being binged. My favorite things are just adding on a long, long list that I'm drawing for the day that I'm locked in a lighthouse somewhere. And meanwhile, I'm watching the stuff that they watch. And uh, I, I hate them. I hate the things they're watching, but I'm watching them. <laughs> and I've watched thousands of episodes of things that I just can't bear. And I won't name them because my friends are in them or my friends make them. But uh, so I'm not getting to binge uh, the things that I love. Uh, sometimes under the duvet at night in bed when I can't sleep, I'm watching those things to try and take a break from uh, binging those press conferences that are maybe some of the worst horror films I've ever seen. No, <laughs> that's you're hilarious. I kind of love you. Thank you. <laughs> what, what is the... Um... What is something everybody has things that they, while they've been in quarantine, everybody has some things that they have been meaning to do, but they put it off. And I know that you have children, so it's a little bit more difficult, but do you have anything that you have been putting off for months that you were finally able to take care of? Well, I've, since lockdown, I've managed to, I've been learning uh, Italian. I've learned to play the piano. I'm baking quite a lot of bread. I've, I've, I've read on the back garden, painted the wall. Um, I can juggle now five flaming hamsters. I've done none of these things. Nothing. <laughs> I've achieved nothing. I kind of believed nothing. you when you said the baking bread oh, part. Jesus, I was like, oh, that's impressive. No, I, I can't even reply to an email. I get one email and I go, oh, then that really warrants a full reply because I have enough time to write, you know, a kind of flowing text and then I, nothing. I get nothing. So I can't achieve, you know, the whole thing about ask someone busy if you want something doing. I yeah. can't do anything now because I have nothing to do. I can't get anything done. No one should feel bad for doing nothing. This is true. You know, it's a it's a good time to catch up on some sleep. That's what I say. Well, baby, That's that is my, my favorite time. thing to do is sleep. That is <laughs> my favorite, favorite thing, to, thing sleep? to do is sleep. I wake up and at eight o'clock and I go, I could I could squeeze another couple of hours in if I really try. And I put on a hypnosis track on YouTube, stick my headphones in, and I'm out. You are pure comedy. Well, Scooby Doo was one of my favorite cartoons growing up. Dick Dastardly was one of my favorite characters. I love you, and me and Scooby are going to say goodbye. Hey, we love you. Look at that. We love Listen, you, Jason. It is nice to be able to be, to know that I'm part of providing something where our family can sit for a couple of hours, forget all this stuff out there, and, and it works for every generation to sit and have a good time because we could all do with it. Absolutely. I did that with my family. So, again, I thank you. That's my time. Have a good rest of your evening. Enjoy yourself. You. Stay safe. And watch some of them programs that your kids like. They might get a kick out of it. Never <laughs> going to happen. All right. All right bye. <laughs>